Hi, I'm William from Badass Tents and I'll be showing you how to install a Bronco roof rack today. So the installation of your uh, roof rack, you'll start off with the four brackets, the standoffs that clip into the rear section of the roof. There's two center brackets and two rearward brackets. Then uh, once you have the components up there, you'll start to thread through the fasteners. Um, you'll want to use the 30 millimeter fasteners to attach the crossbars, the 20 millimeter fasteners to attach the standoff to the side plates. So here we are installing the 30 millimeter bolts to the crossbars. Once you've done this uh, to all four of the rear corners, then you'll have a rear rack completed. Now, if you've bought the full rack, you'll continue and I'll also install the long bars. Now the fasteners come in, like I said, 16 millimeter, 20 millimeter and 30 millimeter bolts. The uh, M6 serrated nuts are all the same. You'll find eight of them in the rear of the rack and then two, four of them in the front. So this is the fully installed rear rack. Uh, it has two crossbars on it. Now, if you've gone ahead and purchased the full rack, you'll replace this filler piece here with the long standoff that goes all the way to the front of the car. So these come in right to left and inner and outer. Um, the front bar that goes to the driver's side will fit there. And, and this part is prototype, so show some welding. Yours will not be like this. This is a prototype. So then you'll install your uh, support bar to the outside of the long bar. And these attach together with the 16 millimeter bolts. Or if you've gotten the acrylic shield for the front of the vehicle, you'll attach the front uh, acrylic shield here where these bolts are being attached now. So the crossbars, they're numbered one through six. The longest one will be in the front, the shortest one will be in the back. And basically we recommend installing blue Loctite on all the fasteners and thread through every bar on both sides before you secure any one of them. So fully assemble the rack before you, you tighten down any of the fasteners. So I normally go from side to side and get everything uh, mounted up and then torqued once everything is mounted. As you place all the bars on the roof, they're numerically marked one through six. You'll place the longest bar in the front and the shortest bar in the rear. So you'll use the M20 bolts on all these bars, except the ones in the rear. These utilize the uh, 30 millimeter bolts because they're going through three layers of material. So the rear two bars utilize 30 millimeter bolts, slightly longer. You'll have eight of those in your kit. All the front bars use 20 millimeter bolts. Now make sure you thread on all the bars from one side and the other. So fully assemble the rack before you tighten any of the fasteners. So I like to go from side to side to keep everything balanced. Once you've finished tightening all your fasteners, then uh, the installation is complete.